the person taking my order at the McDonald's drive through yelled at me and I cry. <laughs> I done, I done, I done finished. I was on OBED mm -hmm. and are you the star of the show? Is this your vlog channel? I don't care what job you're in, you deserve to make a livable wage. I'm gonna do a trigger warning here. Being fat is not inherently bad. He's just the happy presence while we talk about hard topics. If you're still sticking with me, thank you so much. Matthews, I. Bondo says hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, he anyways. He said it three times. He did say meow three times. Did you want to be in the intro? Say hello. Anyways, um, I am literally about to go to sleep. I have to work tonight. Um, I just want to open the vlog, get it started, get started, so we can get rocking and rolling. Um, we're gonna go cuddles and take a little nappy wappy. Yes. I'm very awake to mother. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I'm on drugs <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Corey's gonna leave for work in a little bit, but obviously we'll check in in a little bit, or I guess maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know. But I just wanted to open the vlog. Okay, 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 thanks. Okay, y'all. I have simply put this off for way too long. It is days later. Um, and this vlog literally needs to go up later today. I simply cannot wait any longer to vlog. So the reason I've been waiting, or really putting it off per se, I just had a really tough work weekend. Is like honestly just what it is. The previous week I worked, I think it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then I worked Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And while that doesn't sound tough, it mentally was and then Thursday was the absolute worst shift I have had so far we just had so many level ones back to back which if you don't know what that means that basically means like if we don't get stuff going like relatively quickly we're talking about death and those are obviously very stressful situations especially when you're still like a student and part of your job is to stay out of the way but also part of your job is to be there if they need you and so i had people simultaneously telling me to do things and also be out of the way very stressful and it's just and then obviously like people are like really crabby so they're not they're not communicating in the best way either um it was just a lot and i literally like came home and broke the fuck down we also had a couple of losses that night thankfully not from the uh, level ones or anything but it was just a really tough night i actually like wasn't really able to eat much i ate like my standard dinner i actually ate when i got on shift because i didn't have time to eat before shift um so i ate like a tuna salad sandwich when i got on shift and then i didn't eat for like the whole night so i actually was gonna get breakfast on the way home just because i didn't feel like making anything after that Pity shift. And then the person taking my order at the McDonald's drive through yelled at me and I cry. <laughs> and I know that that's so stupid, but literally I just, I couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. And they were like telling me to hurry up. But basically what happened, I hate like storytelling on vlogs because you know, you're supposed to do B-roll and all that stuff, but you know, it's just happening today. Um, anyways, so Corey had placed an online order because he was awake um, by the time I got home. Um, and he placed an online order for me to pick up for both of us, but the app wouldn't let like wouldn't send the order to the McDonald's unless it said like we were there. Corey wasn't there, I was. So it was like he placed the order but he wasn't there so he couldn't say for me to pick it up. And so the McDonald's was saying that they didn't have the order. And so I said, okay, fine. Can I just, you know, make the order? And I did. And the McDonald's was busy because it was the morning, but this lady on the headset or whatever was just like, okay, come on, hurry up. Do you know what you want? And like, I can't think 
like that. Again, Corey placed the order, so I'm having him tell me the order through the phone so that I can tell her. I don't know, it was just very stressful and it was very uncalled for and it was very rude. And I know that it's not a five-star dining restaurant or dining establishment or whatever. It was just very stressful. And I like, I don't understand why people think that saying, okay, come on, hurry up, makes people go faster because it doesn't, at least not for me. It just stresses me out and then I like freeze up and then it just makes it worse. So anyways, it was a terrible day. I took Friday to recover. Um, really, it took Friday and Saturday to recover. Um, and then Sunday, obviously I had work again. And then it, 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 it I woke up at like 7 p.m. today and that was because Corey woke me up. I would have continued sleeping. Corey woke me up at like 7, 7.30. We hung out with Luke for a little bit, played some Mario Kart, or Mario Party, sorry, Mario Party. And here we are, Corey and I actually watched Don't Worry Darling and then the first Harry Potter movie, Sorcerer's Stone. Um, we're gonna rewatch all the Harry Potters, um, including all of the um, Fantastic Beasts and stuff too. Um, because I just reread all of those books, um, literally all of them. Go check out my Goodreads, um, literally all of them. Part of my recovery, like Friday and Saturday, I think were the days that I read a lot. Friday and Saturday, I think. Um, part of my recovery was literally I just laid in bed or laid on the couch and just read. So I got through the entire Harry Potter series like really quick. I think the last time I checked in on the vlog, I was on like the third book. Yeah, I done. I done, I done finished, literally read all seven of the books. I read the Fantastic Beast series. I read the library books. I read the Journey Through books. I, if it's Harry Potter, I read it. And that was actually very relaxing. Now I started The Simplicity of Cider, which was a wreck by Kaylin Nicholson. And it's supposed to be like a very like cozy book, which I think will be a nice kind of shift change from Harry Potter. And so I'm gonna try to get as many fall books done as I can before it starts rolling into winter. I know that the beginning of December is technically fall, but for me, like December through February, just like December 1st through February 28th or 29th, if it's a leap year, that is winter for me, period. Like that's it. Just like September through November is fall. I know that fall doesn't start till late September. Nope, it's fall. Um, let's see, might as well go through the other months, you know, let's see, March through May is spring and then June through August is summer and that's just, it is how it is, that's just how it is in my book. I think about it as quadrants and that's just how it is, but anyways, December is really like the new year for me, to be honest, it, it really is. Because it's like, I don't like that January starts in the middle of a season. I'm going off on a whole thing. Anyways, so as of right now, I'm literally, <laughs> hold on. I am chilling out and playing Sims right now. I have this mod that lets me have like a lot more people in my household. Like I am, I am chilling and vibing. I literally have my NCLEX book right there. I have this blizzard that we got. Um, this Coke is literally from like when I woke up and it's, yeah anyways i take forever to drink and forever to eat ice cream it, what these are literally both from like seven like whenever i woke up seven seven p.m seven thirty somewhere in there so yeah anyways the vibes are immaculate i'm watching jenica and annika right now but like hey this is my setup i'm literally just chilling taking care of my fam and that that's really all i have to serve you right now Ooh before I start the b-roll. I know I've been talking for a while. Bear with me. Bear with me, please. Before I start the b-roll, um, because I'm just gonna play for a little bit and then once it's like actually morning, I'm gonna take a shower and everything because I feel so nasty uh, because I literally got into bed when I got home last night because I didn't sit down like the entire night. I was on OBED. Hello, baby. I was on OBED mm -hmm. and and I literally didn't sit down the whole night. We also had the joint commission come in. So it was like a huge thing that we like, you know, wanted to make sure everything was great for. But on another note, last, I think it was last vlog, last vlog, I was talking about my project for school, my, um, what is it like capstone project? I don't know. Anyways, I turned in that literature synthesis. I actually got a hundred on it. Now, wait, wait, before you get excited. I too, I too was overwhelmed with joy, okay? Overwhelmed with joy. Okay, hello. Hello there. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, 
Oh, all right. You just, okay. Are you the star of the show? Is this your vlog channel? You got mighty fine looks there, brother. Look at that little boy. Oh, my sweet boy. Hey, sorry. <laughs> the Bonduo show has been activated. Um, anyways, so before you get excited about the 100, um, I talked around to some of my friends because as I said in that vlog, it was 30% of our grade, which I'm happy about the 100, don't get me wrong. But every single other person I've talked to has gotten a 100. And one of the people I talked to got a 100, but shouldn't have. Yes, that's right. I know, the the T, the T. She literally told me that, like, one of the rubric, one of the things on the rubric was, like, you had to keep it under five pages, like, five pages max. And she said that she did, like, six and a half, seven. Um... So I'm kind of pissed and she got a 100. I, I am pissed because I'm pissed. Like that just, that, that pisses me off. Um, and I know that it's like, ha 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 funny. Like, ha, ha, ha. like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, no, I don't know why I'm so mad about it, but I really am so mad about it. Okay, let's, uh, let's cue the relaxing B-roll while Bonduo uh, enjoys himself here and watches some TV with me because he watches TV because he is he is that cat. Okay, peace out. Oh, the cutest little boy. chicken is in the oven i actually decided to cook before i got ready this morning um it is about 7 a.m last time i talked to you it was probably about five now it is seven um the sun is up we just had daylight or i guess the end of daylight savings the sun came up at like 6 30 or at least started coming up at 6 30 which was super weird i hated it yesterday getting off work because i'm used to getting off work and it's still being dark outside it took me so much longer to wind down after work last night because it was still like well it was starting to get light outside so my body was like oh, good morning and i'm like no we need to go to bed now um so it was a little weird but um yeah chicken is in the oven um i got some great sims time in it's always lovely to get that time obviously the last few vlogs i have been like such a freaking anxious mess um i'm definitely doing better <laughs> definitely doing better i am not quite sure what switch flipped but that's just how it is with my anxiety and my depression it'll come out of nowhere and i was still kind of fighting my depression not yesterday the day before as i guess i should just say like as of right now I'm doing fantastic. I'm taking everything as it comes at me. I'm trying not to super duper stress. Obviously, we still have a bunch of things coming up and they're only coming closer, which is only making it worse. But the way that I see it is, and this is probably awful in terms of like, I, I promise I do not want, want to wish my life away in any means. But when my anxiety gets like this, I have to take it a day at a time, a task at a time, a thing at a time. So every time, every, every day that like passes, every task that I get done is like to check, okay, <sighs> done with that. And like, I just, I take a breather from that and I move on. Like this next step in our project is our project charter. And it's basically where we need to like convince these fake 
heads of management to actually input our intervention that we have been researching. And I really don't wanna do it, but I'm sitting here like, okay, when it gets done, check it off. It's done, that's great, move on. Um, so that's kind of motivating me to get things done in the program. Um, but in terms of time, I don't want to wish my life away. I mean, I'm really soaking up, especially in practicum, I'm soaking up being a student and I'm really enjoying it. With that comes, you know, in a few months, I'm going to actually be making money doing something that I love, um, which I know that the money isn't supposed to matter, but y'all, we can't not make a living out here. Like, it, there are going to be so many people that are just like, oh, you're doing it for the money. I promise I'm not. It's just you... I mean, I have to make a living. Like, I can't just not make money. Like, if I could volunteer and still have a steady stream of income to live the life that I want to live, I would so do it. And I do volunteer, mind you. I do volunteer outside of um, school, even. But I'm just going to put it out there. Um, I don't care what job you're in, you deserve to make a livable wage. Money. It's a good thing um, we're gonna be in a bigger nicer apartment obviously that apartment is going to be temporary like we're not gonna live there for the rest of our lives but it will be a nice relief for the year there are just many lovely things coming up and with that many scary things but right now my mind has a handle on it I also yesterday with Corey well not yesterday two days ago my days are so warped <sighs> yesterday was when we watched Don't Worry Darling and Harry Potter. A couple days before that, we watched My Mind and Me, which is a Selena Gomez documentary. If you struggle with mental illness of any kind, I highly, highly recommend it for you and also people you love. While we were watching it, Corey was kind of confused, but I was like, honey, think of it as like from my point of view. And Corey struggles with depression, but he does have more manageable depression um, in terms of like day by day functions. It's kind of like functioning depression, but then again, I have functioning anxiety and functioning depression just because I learned how to function with it because I had to. Hot take. But anyways, more manageable for him. And he also, his mind falls into a depression differently than mine does. Obviously, there are different kind of routes to that point. Um, but regardless, he learned a lot watching that. I have also been kind of struggling with whether or not I need to get back into therapy. I did see a therapist for a little bit. Um, it wasn't like anything serious. Um, I just decided to try it out because I mean, why not? Everybody could benefit from therapy. And I ended off on a terrible note with my therapist. I'm not going to get into it, but she basically just like, she said some very triggering things that she knew were triggering. Um, and then continued to say them as if triggering me would somehow make me better. I don't know, it was it was very weird. Anyways, obviously I cut it off with her um, and I just haven't found another one. I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe starting that up next year, possibly thinking about it. It's a, it's a work in progress. Okay, so the oven just beeped, that's why we're in a different setting. Um, I had to go get the chicken out of the oven, but here we are anyways. Um, so all of that to say, Selena Gomez is my celebrity crush. I love her, always have loved her and probably always will. Um, and her documentary was fantastic. It definitely gives you a look into her mind. She also, it, it, it's a big trigger warning if you watch it, first of all. Second of all, trigger warning to this. She also talks about like body dysmorphia. Um, another good documentary is Taylor Swift's Miss Americana. Um, that's on Netflix. Selena Gomez is, is on Apple TV. Um, but Taylor Swift talks about um, her eating disorder and hers is more like kind of into her life in the music industry whereas Selena Gomez talks about the music industry and talks about her struggles but it's also mainly like a mental health perspective if that makes sense. You are just all over the camera today. Yeah. Yes, my little star. Um, oh, <laughs> shit. Um, anyways, um, I obviously, anxiety, depression, we talked about that, but I also, um, had an eating disorder growing up, um, and I still, obviously, you never, like, completely get out of that mindset. I'm gonna do a trigger warning here for what I'm about to talk about, but I'm about to talk about, um, just, like, weight fluctuation and, um, I guess a little bit about my eating disorder. I don't really know where this is gonna go. I'm just gonna kind of talk about it. 
um, but trigger warning on that if you are still sensitive to those topics. I have always been the type of person to like know if I gain or lose like 0.1 pound. I have always been the kind of person to like absolutely know it. I'll know how much I lost, where I lost it. Like I'll know everything, even if it was water weight, I will know. And actually over these past few months has been the first time that I haven't noticed any sort of fluctuation in my weight. So just throughout the program, simply because of stress, like y'all don't understand how much stress can affect your weight. You really, you don't understand. It can affect your weight so fucking much. So through this program, I hit the heaviest I have ever been. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that as a bad thing whatsoever because fat is not inherently bad. I'm just gonna put that out there. Being fat is not inherently bad. There are obviously health risks that come with that, but that's something that you discuss with your physician. And there are also health risks with being too skinny for your body. I would just like to put that out there as well. But in terms of me reaching the heaviest I have ever been, for me, it wasn't about the weight. It was how I felt. Um, and my feeling did not come because of the weight. My feeling came apart from the weight. I didn't even know that I was gaining weight. I'm not gonna put any specific numbers out there just because I don't personally want to share those details. And then also, I don't want anybody to compare or anything, but I didn't even realize that I had like hit my heaviest until I started noticing that some of my clothes didn't fit quite the right way. And it just, I always buy oversized clothes um, so that I kind of, it's not so that I don't notice the difference. It's kind of like a side effect of that. I mainly buy oversized just because I prefer it. Like this t-shirt is I think a triple XL or something. Um, which is a couple sizes above what I wear or a few above what I wear. He's just the happy presence while we talk about hard topics anyways But I started noticing that even those like looser fitting clothes weren't quite fitting loosely and that's kind of how I noticed And I was like, well, you know, I've been feeling like a load of shit lately <laughs> Like I was super depressed. I mean go back to my summer vlogs. I had a panic attack like every other week it just, it was not a fun time. And suddenly this semester, I have definitely been under stress, but it has been a different kind of stress and then also just less stress overall than summer or spring or even fall when I first started the program. And I didn't notice, but I have been losing some weight actually pretty rapidly. Um, and I didn't notice until I had to weigh myself to get my graduation gown fitted. So I had originally noticed I had gained weight with the clothes and then I went to go weigh myself um, before I went to a doctor's appointment because I didn't want a surprise at the appointment. And then it like hit me all at once and I get super upset. I wanted to know kind of what I was walking into. And then this time I weighed myself because of my graduation gown and I had lost X number of pounds and I had no idea. I didn't notice, Corey didn't notice, nobody noticed. Uh, I'm sure somebody noticed, but I didn't notice. Um, and obviously Corey doesn't pay attention to those things either. And he just kind of looked at me and was like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't ever pay attention to that stuff um but for me it i literally texted um some of my friends and was like y'all i lost weight and i didn't notice because it's like a, like a, it's a huge thing for me because in high school and middle school and in, th throughout college too i was so hyper fixated on even my water weight on every single little 0.1 pound that i would gain or lose i would chart my weight twice a day every day like it was a whole thing um i was so obsessed so when i was at my heaviest in my adult life let's say i was at size z i had a size z and i had been buying size z jeans and so i had a couple of those um and when i started losing the weight they started becoming looser naturally that's how it happens but i still had some size w jeans from when i was at my lightest adult weight i kept on i i kept holding on to the size w's honestly out of um just denial that I wasn't that size anymore. Right now, it's probably a good idea that I held on to them, but to be honest, I, I really held on to them because I was in denial that they didn't fit anymore, which I know is terrible, but that's just the, the reality. I'm being honest here. Um, so I had those size Ws and those size Zs, and um, 
two, three days ago, we went to Target and I got some size X and Ys um, just to kind of fill in the gaps um, because if, if I do continue to lose weight or even if I gain it back or if I, I, I want to have sizes, um, I, I want to wear what fits me that day and I know that a lot of people say not to keep the size that you are not but for me it's very upsetting not to have my size in my closet and if my weight is not going to be stable whether because of hormones or because of something else um, i would like to add that i have not changed my diet i have not changed my exercise routine um the only thing that has changed is i am exercising at the gym less and going to the hospital more it hasn't changed my cardio to strength ratio hasn't changed nothing like that has changed the only thing that has changed is my stress level um to be fairly honest with you i would also like to add that i'm used to my weight fluctuating because of my pcos issues i'm used to what, what would normally happen with my pcos is like i would gain five lose two gain five lose two so overall it was like a net gain um and those aren't specific numbers that's just an example to show that i would gain more overall lose a little gain more lose a little like it was just an upward trend which i got used to and that was totally fine because that was healthy for me and for the condition that i had and for the situation i was in and i didn't have any uh, musculoskeletal problems any renal issues any cardiac issues any pulmonary issues so it was a healthy weight for me if you're still sticking with me thank you so much all of that whole thing to say that i think that i've come to a much better realization that my body is going to be what my body is going to be i'm going to take care of it and whatever it ends up being is what it is and I'm okay with whatever it is. And if I have to hold on to four different sizes, um, just to make sure that I do not upset myself when I go to get dressed, because when I had size W and size Z, when I started going in between those sizes, I didn't have jeans to wear. So I was just wearing leggings or sweats and that's fine, but that's not what I wanted to do. So um, if that's something you need to try, to it i highly recommend it i love that i have all these size options and it's not that i can control my size in any way it's actually the opposite um, i feel like i have no control over what size i am and buying a bunch of sizes is giving me more control over that um so whether my body decides to continue losing or it goes back to gaining or we go in between there or whatever happens i am equipped and i'm probably ain't go even gonna notice <laughs> to be honest um hearing myself say that after struggling with an eating disorder like most of my life is absolutely insane and again i say most of my life but sometimes those thoughts still come into my head i mean my last relapse of my eating disorder was just last year a year ago it is crazy to hear that i didn't even notice that my body was changing whether gaining or losing that is crazy for me and this has been a very long segment of the vlog but this is probably going to be the meat of the vlog um I'm gonna jump back on here with Corey later, but I, I think that's what this vlog is gonna be. Just a nice little sit down chat. I um, I don't know if anybody got anything from this, but just keep working with your body. Take care of your body no matter what size you are. Your size does not matter. Your health matters. And I know that a lot of people are gonna say that being super duper big isn't healthy. I beg to differ, it depends on the person. Um, and I also beg to say that some people are not meant to be skinny. Um, and I know that that's a really hot take and that's really controversial, especially for somebody in the medical field to be saying, but talk to your physicians, talk to your practitioners, make sure that your healthcare providers knows, know what's going on. Cause like um, nobody else matters really. Um, I saw my OB the other day and she had nothing absolutely nothing to say about my weight other than do you feel good do you feel healthy do you have any goals that you have in mind for yourself and my goals were revolved were revolving around stress and just reducing my stress reducing my anxiety because i think that if i can get that under control i'll be a pretty happy girl um so i am going to eat this chicken <laughs> um and Corey and I will hop on in a little bit. I might go ahead and get ready after I eat though because I still just like, I don't know. I need to fix this situation. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. This chat was really nice. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am showered, 
feeling much better, although today is election day and I am super nervous. We're both super nervous. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm trying to calm down, but it's not working. Anyways, taking a shower and like doing my skincare and everything, calm me down a little bit. Corey is obviously up now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I updated him on, on the, the chat that we had, you know. I basically just told them like, I had lost weight and neither one of us noticed and I thought that that was fucking awesome because like, I mean, at the beginning of our relationship, but even before that, like any point one pound gain or loss or whatever, I would notice. Mm -hmm. And so like having lost that much, I didn't put a number, but having lost like that much and not fucking noticed was like a huge deal. But anyways, okay, we already talked about that, so it's fine. Um, I realized that Corey was not really in this vlog at all. Yeah. Um, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's fine. I wish that sometimes you'd do vlogs without me. I sometimes try to. <laughs> it's okay. I know you're stressed and you're tired and you're busy. And exhaust. Yes. And I tend to cope by blah, 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 blah. And you cope by... <laughs> and, and video games. Video games. And, and all we can get out of that is B-roll. <laughs> and Twitch streaming. Yeah. Anyways, so we're going to close this off. Um, in the next vlog, we're going to, you know, go vote, um, run some errands, do some shit, hang out with some friends, all that good stuff. But on that note, don't forget to like, like subscribe, subscribe, and say, say hi, hi down, down in the comments, comments below. below. And, and we'll, we'll see you next time. time. Bye. Bye.